What's going on, MIS team? Happy rainy Friday to everyone. I hope we're all gearing up for a wonderful weekend. Um, so, quick address today. First, uh, you can now submit your availability for the winter season. Um, so, you would have gotten an email yesterday with a link for our new availability form. Uh, this form was actually based off the feedback we got from a lot of instructors. Thank you guys for that. Remember this winter, lots of exciting things. Raises, bonuses, no more client makeup lessons, new programs. Uh, it's going to be an exciting 2023, so get your hours in. If you don't have your full school schedule yet, I'm looking at you, CJEP students. Uh, just submit. You can submit just your weekends now, and then you can indicate a date when you'll get your school schedules later. Um, additionally, for this upcoming weekend, a couple things. Uh, we have two important sub-shifts. We really need everyone's help to fill. We are incentivizing these shifts, which means we're giving you a little extra for taking them. One is a Saturday morning downtown. The other one is a Sunday afternoon in Cote St. Luke, which is a group lesson shift. So we really need help covering these. Thank you in advance for those of you who are going to step up. If you work at John Abbott, uh, so John Abbott is closed on Saturday, tomorrow only. Lessons, you're, uh, if you teach swimming lessons, you've been relocated to other pools, so you should already know the plan. Remember, you need to confirm the change with your clients. Um, swim team coaches, there are no, or there's no practice, we're just off tomorrow. Same thing for bronze, it's just a day off. Uh, let's see, we're getting to the end of the session. Only two weeks left, can you believe it? Or two weeks and a bit. Uh, make sure you're getting on top of your makeup lessons. It's exam season, it's holiday season. Avoid the stress of waiting to the last minute. Uh, schedule your makeups now, get on top of it. Lastly, guys, um, look, it's uh, winter's here, it's cold outside, people are getting more sick. We wanted to remind instructors, you guys have the option of, if you want, you can wear your mask or your shield. I know it was a nightmare when we had to wear it for COVID, but these measures do help keep us uh, healthy and keep us safe. So if you're uncomfortable with, let's say, kids who are maybe sick in your lessons or you just want to be proactive, you guys do have the authority and you can decide to wear a mask or a face shield. On our end, we're also uh, making sure that we are frequently communicating to clients that if their kids are not feeling well or they're exhibiting any symptoms of sickness, uh, to please, incur uh, we're encouraging them to stay at home. So uh, it's everybody's responsibility to make sure we're all being safe and secure during our lessons. That's it. That's all, everybody. Uh, we're cruising into the end of the season. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. Speak to you all soon. And don't forget to get your hours in for the next season. Bye.